Victor, did you see the weekly business report on TV last night? They showed a documentary called How to Get Ahead in Business. No, Ashley, I had to work. Work on a Sunday night? That's one of the things they talked about. Heartless bosses who make their employees work too hard. That's not what happened. My boss is a nice guy. He let me work last night so I could take today off. So maybe your boss is okay. But psychologists studied hundreds of top executives, and guess what? Many had aggressive, self centered personalities. Basically, they didn't care about other people. But don't leaders have to treat people well to build connections and get others to follow them? That's what I thought, too, but not always. I guess those unpleasant characteristics sometimes help people climb the ladder of success. The psychologists showed that a lot of executives aren't very honest, rarely admit they're wrong, think they're better than others, never feel guilty, and they've succeeded because of those characteristics, not in spite of them. For example, One thing that really helped their careers is they don't feel sympathy for others. Sympathy? Right, sympathy. Like when I told you my dog died, you were as sad as I was. I know. I felt terrible. But that's just natural. You're my best friend, Ashley. Well, it wouldn't be natural for a lot of those bosses, Victor. They'd just tell you to stop feeling sorry for yourself and get back to work. That would make me feel even worse. I couldn't work for someone like that. I might even quit. Anyway, the documentary said being self centered and overconfident helps people make quick, strong decisions and motivate others. It helps them get things done. But what if those quick, strong decisions are bad decisions? And don't good bosses have to respect their employees? You work harder if you feel respected, and you work less if you don't. Well, some of those executives are very charming and clever. They have a way of making people feel respected. Even when they're being pushed to the limit or asked to make sacrifices for the company, they convince employees that it's in their own best interest. I don't care how charming your boss is, you're still not going to be happy if he asks you to work late all the time or reduces your salary. You'd be surprised. Some people are so good at making others think what they want them to think. People like that usually get their own way. That's why. They get promoted and the nice guys get left behind. That sounds awful. Maybe that's what's wrong with businesses today. Not enough nice people at the top who honestly care about others. Well, the documentary did mention one big problem. All those unpleasant characteristics can help someone succeed. But when people like that make it to the very top and then make bad or selfish decisions, there's no way to bring them under control. And the whole company can be destroyed. I can imagine. But somehow, my nice boss made it to the top, and our company is doing just fine. Lucky you. Hey, next week is about companies where the workers and managers make decisions together. They call that shared governance. Don't work so you can watch it with me.